Aljamain Sterling and Pedro Munoz both debuted at UFC 170 in 2014, both making their 13th UFC appearance tonight. Near identical pro and UFC records, 17-3 and three on one side, 18-3 with a no contest on the other. This fight clock is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Al Jermaine opening up quickly with kicks. He has a reach advantage, particularly with his legs, and he's utilizing that advantage. Using those kicks, staying on the outside. Doubling up with front kicks. J.A., I was at UFC 170. <laughs> I was there. I think Pat Cummins might have been there. <laughs> yes, he was. Pedro Munoz said of Aljamain Sterling's last fight, Jimmy Rivera accepted his distance. I won't. He expected Sterling to try to run clock, grind him, grapple him. So far, Sterling intent to engage on the feet. Do not let Pedro Munoz get a hold of your neck. Right. Don't that let man is a super high-level guillotine. Aljamain just landed a nice left hand, though. You can't let Pedro Munoz guillotine you or trick you into just standing in front of him and trade. Right. Because he has so much power and such a great chin. And in this era when guys are sparring less, Munoz essentially is doing the opposite. He likes to spar hard at least twice a week throughout training game. Aljamain's a lot faster than Pedro. He's in and out. Pedro's still trying to get a beat on him. But this is what he'll do the whole fight. He'll keep walking him down until he can try to get his hands on Aljamain. Aljamain has a very, very unorthodox style. The way he moves, it's like very difficult to find someone in training that moves like him. Right. Good distance, like nice left hand there. Oh, he's getting hyped up. Look at him. But he's not going to stand in front of him. He'll pop him he and try move. To take him down. Yeah. He's going to try to take him down. There you go. Right hand there by Aljamain. Trick. Yeah, he's going to try to trick Pedro. He looks great. He, really he looks, does. Aljamain looks fantastic right now. Look at the head movement, too. But it's so odd. Like, everything he does is so, like, good luck preparing for him. Yeah, but he's going to have to be able to keep this, though, right? Because Pedro's going to exactly. keep going forward. And a lot of times, the big drop, drop your head, jump up into a punch, those big actions tend to wear you down as the fight goes longer, as does those front kicks that he keeps landing on Pedro Munoz. Nice left hand for Munoz. He dug to the body with that left hand there as well. But I, I think you're totally right about the speed. Pedro shucks that off. Aljo has much, much better hand oh. speed. Oh, he got clipped there a little bit. Munoz even says when he trains with D1 wrestlers, they don't want to shoot on him because of that patented guillotine. Aljamain with a nice right hand, a sneaky right hand there. Checks that kick. Oh, nice lead elbow there. Big right hand. He is having his elbow. way. Front kick up oh. the middle. Aljamain. Aljamain's just touching him. Yep. Over and over touching him. When he sets on one of these, you got to see. Then you'll see the chin of Pedro Munoz get tested. He's testing him. Oh, he, he hurt him there. You see Pedro's eyebrows go up. But Pedro is good when he gets hurt. He's one of those guys that survives in firefights. Hey, watch that up elbow. He's touching his leg. He's going to try to bring the elbow up the middle. Over and over. Keep touching his leg there. He's trying to set that up. Sterling using that length and that six-inch reach effectively early. I mean, Sterling is fighting fantastic. There's no wind-up, too. That's part of it. Pedro Munoz has never been stopped as an MMA pro through 22, now 23 fights. He's a step behind right now, though. He got tagged again. Aljamain is very creative with the way he strikes. It's so unorthodox. Yeah. Right? He's just throwing these punches from places that Munoz doesn't expect him to throw from. And he's so long for his weight division. Right, and he's mixing it up. Like, up top, and he throws a left to the body. Everything's weird. You think he's going to punch, he front kicks you. Nice low kick. And Pedro looking for the right hand, but just a little too slow, right? He looks frustrated. He does. He really does. I was just going to say that. He he never thought he would get outstruck in any part of this fight tonight. Yeah. No. He's getting outmaneuvered as well. Yes. Oh, oh, high kick. That's the strike, though. He was doing the uh, front kick to the body when Aljo turned southpaw. That's the one that's going to benefit him as the fight goes longer. Because the more he can do that, the more tired Sterling will get. Oh, he cooked him there. 
He gets it. He's got the neck. He's got that neck. Oh, he let it go. And he caught him with the right hand there as well. Sterling right back to work with his own offense. Oh. Final 10 seconds. What a run. <laughs> Give me the water, bro. All I want you to do is breathe. How's it going? Breathe. That's what's called a fucking clinic, baby. Same thing. Breathe. That's all we want. This one you want, right? Sorry, sorry. How's it going? The movement is perfect. You're mixing it up. He can't get near you. As long as you're up on your toes dancing and confusing him, he's not getting near you. You're picking him off, baby. Too fast, Aljo. That's it. Aljo, too fast. Just breathe and let's come back down to normal. Perfect. How you feel? Great. That's it. Period. Breathe. Give me the water. Same exact thing. Get off and get out. Okay, it was yeah. beautiful. I like what you're looking for with the elbow. Yeah, you just don't don't, don't go flat. He's he gonna try. To, yeah, look, he might he, he might he's gonna have to get a little aggressive because he just got hammered that way. I'm breathing. Come on, deep, Aljo. Aljo, same thing. Aljo, one same down, thing. One yeah. down. UFC 238 prelims on ESPN are presented by Modelo. A big first round for Aljamain Sterling. We now go high above the octagon and check in with a couple of former UFC champions. Dominic Cruz, Michael Bisping. Don, your thoughts on round one there between Sterling and Munoz. Sterling looked very sharp. He's very creative. He's pulling Munoz into his big punches, starting with the kicks. If he can keep this pace, it's going to be a long night for Munoz. But I think Munoz is hoping that he wears down with the pressure and the accumulation of strikes that, put, that he tries to land. Yeah, Aljamain looks sensational. You see here, it's more of the same movement. Very unorthodox, moving the head, but he's getting a little he's too confident. He's he's and Pedro Munoz only needs one good shot. We saw at the end of the first round, he landed a good kick and kind of threatened with the guillotine. Aljamain looks very, very comfortable, but as I said, don't get too comfortable because Munoz will make you pay. Yep. Munoz hurt him to the body yep. in that exchange while Bisping was talking. He kicked him to the liver. He got him with that front kick over and over. He's got to keep doing that. But Aljamain covered it up well. As soon as Aljo turns oh. out, boy, she start dipping that deep kick to the body. Aljamain doesn't want to take any more of these, so now he can start to draw out his reactions. Look. There's that front kick yep, again. Yep, he's doing it over and over again. And he's he's shooting shooting right to the level. Oh. Oh, oh Aljamain's in trouble. You can't stand in front of Pedro like this. Aljo, these, these, these coaches, they said in and out, stick and move. Oh. Sterling's got to be very careful with those big reactions there. He doesn't want to take those body kicks, so he's leaning over. He's got to be careful. If Munoz goes high, he can find himself in trouble. Munoz just missed on the counter there. A minute and a half gone by here, round two. Winner of this fight could conceivably be next for the new Bantamweight champion to be crowned later tonight on pay-per-view. Big deep breath from Munoz who continues in perpetual forward motion. Munoz is doing a real good job of cutting off Sterling. Not really give, see how he cuts him off to the, he, meet, he beats him to his point. He beats him to the point that Aljo's trying to get to. He's just having a lot of difficulty with the speed of Aljamain Sterling. He's also for, forcing Aljamain to fight at a very high pace. Good left hand by Aljamain. Oh, he stunned him. He hurt him. He hurt him. But Munoz is trying to hope that Aljamain slugs with him. See how he just stands and plants his feet? I mean, Aljamain Sterling looks phenomenal tonight. Fighting a very smart fight. But he cannot tire. He, he cannot, cannot tire. tire. Nope, if he tires, it will only take one round for Pedro Munoz to put himself back in this fight. Or and, maybe finish it. And he can't stand in front of Pedro as well, and he's not. Still two minutes here to go in round Good two. Movement. Oh, oh, there's that spinning elbow again. Left hook as well. Up elbow. Oh, there's that front kick again. Pedro keeps shooting that to the liver and then to the legs. This is a much closer round. Much. Much closer he's closing round the distance one. and yep. he's, he's finding him. Particularly with that front kick. Yep, those kicks starting to pile up for Pedro Munoz. Well, it's like DC said, those big movements are costly. 
You, you only have so much energy in a round, and Aljamain can't really keep up the pace of the initial exchanges of the first round. Low kick there. Hard low kick. Oh! Just over a minute now to go in round two. Oh, uh, Pedro's in. hurting him with that left, that low kick. And every time Aljamain's going to turn southpaw, that's what Yeah, he's having problems with that left leg. It's those low kicks to the calf. They screw so many fighters up. It's such a devastating technique. And it's so funny that it was for so long people weren't right. using it. I mean, Benson Henderson was the first to start using it in the UFC. I mean, just forward pressure by Munoz is oh. crazy. Yeah, and he's hurting him now. That was a big shot by Munoz. He looks to be starting to trap Aljamain. Aljamain's got to get moving again. He's got to start to get in and out. You see the significant strike numbers round by round. Advantage Aljo in both rounds one and two. Man, Munoz oh, has eaten nice. some heavy shots. Oh, there. yeah, nice oh, job by Sterling there, yep. Again, Pedro just with that front kick up the middle, but Aljo with those hooks. He's just way faster. Wow. What a fight so far. Oh, round three is next. Dude, that's what I'm talking about, Aljo. Five more minutes, motherfucker. <laughs> breathe, five Aljo. Five more minutes. Breathe. Aljo, breathe and listen. Aljo, Aljo the water. only chance is going to come gun blazing. You do the same thing. Only chance he's got, Aljo, if you just stand there flat with him. Get your awareness up. He's going to come a little harder now. You, All right. You're pitching a fucking beautiful fight, baby. Beautiful. He's desperate now, Aljo. Aljo, beautiful. He's going to come out. You got to be the matador. Great. You got to be the matador. I want you on your feet like yeah. fucking Achilles, okay? That's it, Aljo. Five, Five minutes. minutes, baby. You're pitching. Looking beautiful. Same thing. Keep the fakes going. You're fucking hammering this guy. Five minutes Three. on your feet. Same thing. Keep the fucking room. fakes going We're through, Aljo. We're getting out? Come We're on, Aljo. Last five, five Aljo. Let's do it. Round three brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of the UFC. Joe, we got to hear Matt Serra, Ray Longo. The best, the most greatest. entertaining corner yes. in all of the UFC. By Ray far. Longo and Matt Serra, they need a reality show. And they were very happy, very happy with the performance. But I'm concerned about the left leg of Aljamain Sterling. I think he's having some real problems with it because of those low kicks. And he, he's, he continues to fight in a southpaw position to protect it. And Pedro Munoz is keep, keeps that pressure. And there's that front kick to the body again by Pedro. He's got to know he's behind, right. but he's also being effective. That left leg of Aljamain is really compromised right now. He's doing a good job of hiding it, but it's in trouble. So look so, at him. See how he's moving? I mean, he's, he's doing a good job of hiding it, but that left leg is hurting. This is what Aljamain should be doing. Popping the shoulders, fainting. Just touching him to keep him off of you a little bit. You don't have to worry about throwing those big strikes you landed. You did that in round two, you did that in round one. Pop him with the jab, be long, be, be loose. Because Pedro's going to continue to pursue you. He doesn't need much. See, you can tell Aljamain's trying to throw that front kick off the front leg. Where you don't have the same amount of pop to it, you don't really snap the hips into it. He's just trying to push him off. Yeah. Sterling has been sharp here early round three. That has limited the output of Munoz. I mean, I've never seen Aljamain fight so well and also take so many risks, right? This is not yes. the type of fight that you would normally see Aljamain Sterling involved in. Whoa! Munoz is forcing him to fight like this, though, because he's consistently moving forward. But if Aljamain Sterling found comfort in the fact that he beat Rivera in a stand-up fight, if he can win this one, after standing up to Pedro Munoz, he's got to feel like he can compete with anyone in the division. And I know he already does. Don't forget, pay-per-view follows the prelims, ESPNplus.com slash PPV. Click buy now, and you can Ooh, see the championship doubleheader beginning at 10 p.m. Eastern tonight from Chicago. Good left hand there by Aljo. I would like to see Pedro get back to that low kick. Aljamain's getting more comfortable, and he's standing orthodox again. I don't think he can take many more of those low kicks. 
And even when he's standing in a, oh, he went to the top. Even when he's standing in the southpaw position, he can still go across the legs like yes. Rob Kamen style. Nice jab by Pedro Munoz. Nice jab by Aljamain. And now he's attacking the other leg. I mean, it would seem that Aljamain Sterling is ahead of this yes. fight. But he's still standing right in the middle. He's still in trouble. Yes, he's, he's still, still in danger, I should say. He's in danger. Because he's still fighting in the middle there. But if Aljamain, as he said on, on Thursday, I want to make a statement, but I want to get the win. It seems as though getting the win is great, but he is making a statement tonight. And Pedro Munoz, too. Making a good account of himself and really showing how tough and durable he is. So tough and durable, but also he's sticking the course. The course is keep the pressure on him, try to get him to break, and try to get him to open up. Give, give some openings where he can land a punch, grab the neck, do something. He's already compromised the left leg. Aljamain's not moving as good. He's standing more in front of him, but he's getting away with it with a beautiful upper body move. Yes. Under two minutes now to go, and if you're Sterling, got to manage risk well here down the stretch. has landed a career high in terms of total strikes tonight. A lot of people felt like if Sterling didn't get a takedown or there was no grappling, oh. he might be on the wrong end of this one. That has not been the case. No, he's been fighting really well. He's using his length well. Much better than he had prior, right? Just really gauging distance. He's taking his shots too because Pedro's fighting well. But we've never seen Aljamain Sterling fight with this sense of urgency. Look at that. So urgent. Pedro's really trying to chop away with the kicks now. Oh. Right hand partially lands for Sterling to retreat. 50 seconds now to go. Beautiful job by Sterling to split Ooh. that Munoz guard. Yeah, I mean, he boxes very well, even from Southpaw, but man, Pedro's relentless with his kicks. But Aljamain's eating them. This crowd is loving this fight. These guys just literally were in front of each other the whole time, just fight. Crazy volume. Look at Aljamain's chopping at Pedro's leg, and he's got his leg hurt. Now Pedro's talking. Oh, Aljamain's talking to him too. What a slash top weight, but then the mutual respect seeks That was in. beautiful. Another standing O here in Chicago. That was a beautiful fight. That was a great fight. Pedro Munoz and Aljamain Sterling go the distance. Another fine showcase for the Bantamweight division. Here early in the fight, we see Aljamain with beautiful movement. Weird, weird or unorthodox angles. The punches are coming from. But then Munoz continued to come forward with the pressure. Started landing some good shots. Hurt him with a kick to the liver. Hurt him with some leg kicks. And you see him jump on the guillotine there for a second. Now here's the end of the fight. Both guys just swinging at each other. Trying to make one definitive strike to try to put this away. And big respect at the end of the contest. Sterling had it going tonight, landed at a 58% clip on the feet. The official decision, yours next, as the prelims continue on. Cards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27 for the winner by unanimous decision, Al Jermaine Buckmaster Sterling. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a phenomenal fight. Congratulations to you, Pedro, as well, for an amazing performance.